Hey folks, this is Riker, bringing you a Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls crash course on speeding your way from 1 to 70 and beyond. Whether you're a new player or looking to kick off Season 2 with a bang, this is what you need to know about the journey from 1 to 70, the pre-torment hurdle, torment purgatory, and finally the end game marathon. Ready to take your game to the next level? This is how we do it. Your Diablo 3 playtime can be divided into four phases. Phase 1, the Blitz. The opening phase of the game is your race to level 70. If this is your first time playing Diablo, then you'll have to complete the campaign before you can unlock Adventure Mode, which is where you'll be spending the rest of your game time, and arguably where the fun really begins. If you want to be as efficient as possible, then Adventure Mode is your ticket to the fastest level 70 completion times. While it may be tempting to play through the campaign on higher difficulties for greater challenge and reward, you will net greater rewards by speeding to Adventure Mode as quickly as possible. If you already have Adventure Mode unlocked, you can hit 70 in about 5 hours, without any outside help by following some strict guidelines that I've previously gone over in this video here and this accompanying video as well. No gimmicks, no exploits, this is knowing the game, playing smart, playing efficient, and making the most out of your game time. That leads us to Phase 2, The Forge. Phase 1 is where your hero is born. Phase 2 is where he's bred. Level 70 is where your journey really begins. Everything before this point was just a warm-up exercise. The first thing you'll want to do is either find or create a starter build. Click on one of these thumbnails to be taken to a starter build for the class you plan to play. In a starter build, what you're looking for is synergy among your skills. Skills that share the same elemental damage type, or that just work well together, such as by triggering each other. And before you go any further, make sure you're aware of these four simple game options that so many people don't know about. The most important one is Elective Mode, which gives you the freedom to assign almost any skill to almost any keyboard or mouse button. Once you have your starter build, you'll want to gear up as quickly as possible with best-in-slot rare items. You'll do this by crafting, enchanting, gambling, and just finding them as loot. But if you have the crafting materials, then you can quickly become torment capable just off crafted items. Now when we're talking best in slot rares, we want to make sure that you've put all the right attributes on all the right gear pieces. So follow these gearing guides here to maximize your damage and toughness. Not all gear pieces are created equal. For instance, on some you want to stack only offensive stats. This leads you to phase three, the hunt. You have your basic build, you have your best in slot rares, and you are comfortably farming the early torment difficulties. Now begins the hunt for the gear that will let you into the end game. Along this journey, you'll begin replacing your rares with legendary and set items. But don't be tempted to replace your rares too soon. A legendary is not automatically superior to a rare. In fact, a best in slot rare is often better than a legendary. The legendary needs to roll the correct attributes just like rares. Of course, there are some exceptions to that, such as certain items that have special attributes that will help you tremendously, but those are few and far between. At this phase of the game, you want to set your eyes on a particular end game build and begin hunting for the items that build requires. The vast majority of these builds, for instance, revolve around one of the class sets. Reekers for Barbarian, Akans for Crusader, Marauders for Demon Hunter, Sun Wukos for Monk, Jade Harvesters for Witch Doctor, and Firebirds for Wizard. I have build guides for most of these sets, and in the future I will have coverage for all classes. As you find the pieces you need for your endgame build, do not equip them right away unless they are an upgrade to your current gear, as previously described. Endgame builds are designed with the assumption that you have all the required gear, and without specific gear pieces, it's generally better to stick with your starter build. Instead, keep the required gear pieces in your stash until you're ready to equip the full set. A starter build is more powerful than a half-assed endgame build. Now, once you do have all the gear pieces you need to take advantage of your full set bonus, at this point you want to equip your gear pieces, even if, individually, they are downgrades relative to your current gear. In general, even the most suboptimally rolled set items will be superior to the best rolled legendaries. Because the endgame set bonuses are incredibly powerful and vastly overshadow the damage output of a character without one of these sets. Now, with your set, you're going to be able to handle Torment 6. Which takes us to Phase 4, 
the grind. The last phase of the game is migrating into your best in slot end game gear. You have the basic pieces you need to handle Torment 6, but we're looking to go beyond that. We're looking to speed clear T6 and make Rift Guardians weep at the sight of you. We're looking to climb the Greater Rift leaderboards and make Torment 6 feel like normal. Upgrade your legendary gems in Greater Rifts. Run uber bosses to craft Hellfire amulets. Farm Act 1 Herodric caches to get the perfect Ring of Royal Grandeur. Gamble at Kadala and enchant at the Mystic over and over and over and over until you're fully decked out in perfect gear. Welcome to the grind. For the full written version of this guide, be sure to follow the link in the description below to take you to the Escapist website, escapistmagazine.com, where you'll be able to find this and more guides from me in the future. Thanks for watching, check out these other videos, and if you enjoyed this one, share it with friends, leave a comment, hit like, join the in-game community group, and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders.